Good morning, Internet. Today is Thursday, November 11th, and it's Remembrance Day. The armistice that ended the First World War was signed at 11 a.m. on the 11th of November, 1918. When people were fighting the First World War, it wasn't called the First World War. It was the Great War, or the war to end all wars. Because it was so catastrophic and huge, it was the most bloodshed that any war had ever seen. And so the thought was that nothing could ever be as big and horrifying as that. And that something that large and catastrophic could not not be an end of an era. 21 years after the armistice was signed, Nazi Germany invaded Poland. The armistice led to the signing of the Treaty of Versailles in 1919. The countries that had been fighting against Germany in the Great War were so angry with Germany that they couldn't stand to see Germany's economy survive it. They left Germany impoverished and with no way to redeem itself economically. So let this not in any way be seen as defending the sociopath that is Adolf Hitler. But the reason that the people of Germany elected him in the first place was that he promised change. He offered the people of Germany the potential to rise from the role of the blister on Europe's big toe to the crown. The Second World War is the war that my grandparents fought in. My mother's dad was in the Navy, my father's dad was in the Air Force. I live in Newfoundland now, and here the focus of Remembrance Day is not on the Second World War, the focus is on the First World War, and that's because until after the end of the Second World War, Newfoundland was not a part of Canada. Newfoundland had its own regiment, and in the First World War, on July 1st at the Battle of the Somme, they lost a devastating number of men. That was in 1916. Now, almost a hundred years later, we're still feeling the loss of the men. In my upbringing in Ontario, both of my grandparents fought in the Second World War. My mother's father was in the Navy and my dad's father was in the Air Force. And we mostly recognized the Second World War because the Canadian regiment had a huge part in the D-Day operations in Normandy. They stormed the beach under machine gun fire and the Allies won. They won that battle. Um, they won it at the cost of hundreds and hundreds of lives. The youngest World War II war veteran would be 83 years old today. We're losing them. They're getting old and they're passing on and we need to hang on to their stories. My kids will never meet my grandfathers, so they'll never have the opportunity to have somebody who they love, who was there, tell them what it was like. We can't allow our children to grow up without knowing these stories. We pass on the knowledge that once upon a time thousands and thousands and thousands of people died. They did it to protect the basic rights and freedoms that we enjoy today.